All right. So uh, uh, the old old um, code is IEPE one. So it's actually an elective, no? Current it's technical elective, but this one is professional elective. Panishat EE. So this is the first from the list of all the professional electives that we choose for you. Okay. In the other departments, actually, our style is. Um, the students are able to choose for themselves what elective they want to, to take. But in the IE department, we know what's what's important and needed in the in the industry. That's why we choose it for you. Okay. So I'm your instructor. So I've been handling already um, Lean Six Sigma for a very long time since I think um, second semester of the first year that I was teaching. So, um, it was not given to other faculty yet. So, uh, maybe if others will be um, trained with Six Sigma, they can already um, handle this program, uh, this course. So, house rules and reminders. Um, most likely, we will do presentations. So, if possible, when you uh, report during your um, uh, schedule, you have to express idea in English. And uh, quizzes will be given every after lesson. So what I'm going to do is since uh, most likely next week you will be enrolled already in Moodle, all the quizzes will be in Moodle. But uh, to save time as well, um, your Moodle quizzes will be available for the entire week. Okay, so para dili lang po mo mas stress of answer during the time of the report. So more likely ang, ang outcome per, per report is mag quiz ta through Moodle, but I will be the one to prepare for that. Okay, dili na shop preparation sa reporters. All right, next. Um, uh, this one, uh, since it's being implemented na this this semester, before pag summer, um, okay rato, no? But karun na semester, if during the major exam and wala admission slip, uh, you will have to you will you will not be given the 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 chance to answer so in ana nasiya but in my case kai i'm still going to allow you to take but di lang sana ko siya record until you can show me an admission slip ana lang gihapon ha same sa mga before na to na mga times i still allow you so long as you will have to inform me ahead para di sana ko siya i i upload or i record ang new home grade right Next, so ngunit siyang ako ang giingon that you will have to have a research project. So it's very important that we'll have to meet your group now so that you can already strategize um, which company are you going to study. Okay, so um, heads up lang since we're all kanang online, so find lang mo a company na kaila lang ninyo ang tag -iya. Okay, so not necessary nga mo adto pa mo sa company yun. Unless kung may MGCQ na ta, so may uh, na chance that you will have to go to the company since, sorry, mga October pa man ni siya nga due. Okay? But if possible, find a company nga kaila lang ninyo. Okay? Um, I'll discuss later on say basics for the project. Alright? Then you have already a Facebook group. You're already in the Facebook group. Ayun na ning vision vision, no? Now, for the grading system, this is also changed because supposed to be this is according sa inyohang um, face to face, no? But right now, you sab ni namo siya mas dako ang value sa inyohang some uh, sorry formative assessment. Meaning to say, um, kaniyang ato mga activities, the quizzes and the outputs, and then gamay na lang ang percentage ni prelim and midterm since we're all online. And of course, in real life mas dako gyud ang value sa application sa systems. So mausab na ni siya, it's I'm going to show this in your course guides. Ko tong course guide niya wala ko to na kong usab ang um, contents because I'm going to plan together with you karon the schedule, okay? And then same with the final project. So um supposed to be mag-make gyud ta mo og RPF. And I think this still applies now. So, online RPF na lang atong pagpacheck. So, na tayo research proposal form. Um, wala pa man mo nakagi o mga research proposals, no? Wala pa, no? Because, kanang, oh, any? Um, wala pa man mo, oy, 
MOR. Do you have methods of research ba now? With Sir Kian? I think na may MOR ka ron, no? And sakto ba? Am I correct? Na may MOR? Karong na sem? Anyone? Wala pa man, Guru Mimang. Oh, wala pa may MOR. Okay, sige lang. So, I'll be the one to discuss this day. So, 5% will be RPF. Then, 15% will be for your defined phase. So, money ang computation sa yung final project. 15% defined phase. 15% measure phase. And the biggest part is actually the 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 analyze phase. 10% improve. And the control phase is wala na na siya because you are not obliged to implement the project. And, sorry. And we will have an oral validation. So for the two groups, you will have to present your paper. Okay, I will be um, uh, asking any of the faculty to be your panelist. All right? Before we really get outside panelists, but karo wala mood tayo, honorary yung sumaikugta mo, mga yuog, um, time for the for the panelists. No? So, manguha lang ko o faculty to be your panelists. But rest assured, it will not be Engineer Navarez. <laughs> Para di mo mas stress lang sa reserve your stress to the, to the fifth year subjects. I'm oh, sorry, fourth year subjects na major uh, thesis. Okay? And then, is Barbie already around? Not yet. Wala na wala. Di hapon siya. And then... Nag-drive hmm? Nag pa daw siya, ma'am. Gikan siya nagpa-swab. Sosyal. Ano ah, nagpa-swag man siya? Mulakaw siya. And then, um, 30% will be for your midterm grade and the 70% is your final project. So, meaning to say, the other half of the semester, 70% will be from your final project. Mawagid ni ang mudictate sa inyong grade. Okay? The kaning quizzes, um, ako na-realize is di na lang kumagpa-output sa mga... Um, topics because you already provided the reports. So, reporting na lang uh, kung grade done for the formative assessment and the quizzes. But, dili na kung mag-grade sa kind of mga outcomes na style, no? Just like sa mga courses and other uh, self-directed na types of quad. So, wala na lang tayo outcomes, Anna. Instead, quizzes lang, ideas lang sa, okay? The application will be used in your final project. So, you have to really uh, use these tools in your final project. Okay? So, uh, syllabus, uh, I'm going to update that. Although, the same naman ang syllabus, wala rin na usab. Ang course guide dala inyong gamitun kay mas, kung siya mas. Claro. So now we'll proceed through the groupings for the report and the research project. So these are the topics that you will be assigned to. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 manisia. So if you are 10 members, um, 10 divided by 5, oh, sorry, 15 divided by 10 rather, 1.5. So Naagi groups nga duha ka topics ang ilahang i-discuss. So, somehow, these topics are also kanang related to one another. So, ako sang i-create ha, ang mag-exel ko. Well. Kaya ako ba na kung naong diha eh? Zoom meeting yun. Zoom sa dimong now. Wait, ha. So I'm going to um schedule ahead already para naana mo'y plans on how are you going to do with your um presentation. So unsa akong requirement for this one is that one you have to prepare your own PowerPoint. So I'm I'll not give you um, PowerPoints. Kamu amo prepare sa PowerPoint. Then you have to upload that, the PowerPoint in Moodle. Okay, so you upload niyo ang yung PowerPoint to Moodle so that your classmates have something to review, especially in taking the, the exam through Moodle. Okay, and then after, so meaning to say, amo gawa sa exam based on sa yung PowerPoint na you provide. Alright, then you have to upload that. Um, let's say, for example, you are required to to report on Monday, 
kailangan um, two days before maka-upload na mo. So, for example, we will start on Monday. Man. So, by the way, this Friday, we will not meet because I will have a training. So, magsugod kita sa first um, first reporting for more time also on Monday and then followed by Friday and then so on and so forth. Okay. So, I will group you to a member with a laptop and without a laptop and with Wi-Fi connection and with um, without Wi-Fi connection. So, so far, only I think 10 rapod ang answer. Yeah, 10 ang answer. So, all of you have laptops except sa usa. Okay, except sa usa. And all of you also have Wi-Fi and makadata connection rapod. Alright, sige. So, dali ra ni ini groupings di ay. So, ibay pair ta mo. Alright. Ibay pair ta mo. Sa to ang wala. Okay, sige. Na kash oh, oh hindi ko pa share screen mo. Right. Sige. So share screen. Okay. So Okay. Um Five S Kanban load leveling VSM. So ang pwede na to maparis ani is Kanban and load leveling. So that could be one topic. And then VSM is as well as one. Kaizen is as one. And don okay, this one. Pwede ra po di mausa. Si um, cellular manufacturing and one piece flow. Pwede rin na mausa. Cycle time. Hi, Junka. I think hi, Junka is the same with load leveling. Mausa rin na sila. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, I got ten, and yeah, pilan ni na ko si Justin. And ni pili mo usa si Andon o si ko. Sige, pwede rin po kay Visual Workplace. Magyapon si Andon. Okay. Sige, so this will be the the topics. Alright. And um, I will pair you. So, ang um, mahug ni siya na first the first two will have to report 5S and then the other next pair will report for example, Kanban Load Leveling and Hydrogen Ka. And then, ang mahitabo kay um, mubalik ang next na pair. So, marag first five and then mo to it nasad. So, more likely, you will have to have two or more topics assigned to you. Okay? So, call it pair. Ha? So, Pedrosa and Amazona. So, kamoy pair. And then... Zabala and De La Pena. Okay, and then Silva and Anipa. 
Acero and Versosa. And then Bukota and Laurito. Alright? So, muna inyong pairs. And then, mubalik na sad to SMED. So, mubalik na po si Pedrosa and Amazona to discuss SMED. Okay? So, muna siya uh, to ang pairings. So, I will be posting this one, don't worry. Now, sa schedule na punta, alright? So, in every report, I will ex I expect two topics to be presented since nine weeks ramang gunta, no? So, your midterm exam is, ano sa kanya, midterm exam? September... Ay. Diyan po asa kong bag. Nandito akong gamay ng notebook. Para sa schedule. Nasa upos ay din. Sige, balik. Um, asa na tato? So, here. So, on Monday... Um, 24 and wala tayo 28 oh sorry wala tayo uh, 28 no so 31 and 4 ta. so September oh sorry August 31 will be Pedrosa and Amazona alright and then Kanban load leveling or Hijunka. Same na si Hijunka and load leveling actually. August 31 as well. So, you will uh, one hour, one hour mo each. Alright? And then, uh, DSM and Pokeyuki will be um, September September 4. Ay, ito ba? Yeah, September 4. September 4. No, patong green. Bag na ko ba bag? Ang gamay nga bag. First, oh, that one. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, ato i-check ang sked. Oh, na na si, na na si Warby. So, yes, uh, midterm is 14 and 18. So, kailangan mahuman taog report. Um, uh, one ay labot si 14 and 18. Okay? Kay mag, kung ano mo ana, mag-answer na mo ana sa samatid exam. So, let's try na masulod. Um, uh, next is September 7 and 11. So, digit masulod mo. Ay, ani na lang, um, Let's have the first group on on Wednesday. Is it okay? Karong Wednesday na. Although pwede pa manoon to mag-report sa 14 and 18. Sige lang. Let's try lang sa daw. Kumasigo pa ba? So September 7. And then we have September 11. Sigo na di ay. So, September 40. Alright. So, muna yung schedule. Okay. For the for the reports. Uh, for your assigned day na mo report. Alright. And then um, again, what are your um, needed to do? First, you create your own PowerPoint. Upload it via Moodle or in Facebook group lang sa for now. Pero if ever ma okay na, upload it in Moodle so that your classmates can view it, especially in, in answering the exams. Um, the exams will be available every Saturday. So, humanon ako o himo ang tanang exams on Saturday for you to answer until Sunday. Okay, so two days lang siguro. Alright, okay, since all of you have Wi Fi connection or mansad, so wala problema. Except kang uh, the other two, no? Then, pwede naman po via phone. And then, um, 
Kuan ra, 10 item quiz ra. So, dili na mag 10 item quiz ra na siya. Okay? And then, if possible, guys, prepare a video. So, ako inote ha. One is your own PPT, followed by ang quiz ako amo prepare every Saturday. And then, next is um, prepare a video. Okay? At least showing what um what the topic is all about. Especially kaning mga andon, mga visual workplace, mas maayo nga makapakita ta og video. So please prepare a video for your classmates. Again, dili pa sa both video, kamo mo yun na sa sulod sa video. Ha, no. Um, you just get a video in you in YouTube or anywhere and then just share it to your classmates para nasod sila makita. Alright? And then, after that, so, tigwa one hour mo um, in the discussion. So, 11.30 to 12.30 lang with that. And then, after that, kay katuna na quiz for your requirement for the week. Alright? And then, on September 6, 7, 8, and 9, guys. So, in September 21, mag-meet na po ka, Monday gihapon. That is for the uh, orientation on your project. So, muna po ni ang time na mangita mo company. But I'm just giving a heads up if possible. Your company should be kanang friend lang ninyo ang, ang owner. And let me know kung kung kuan kung kanang okay ra ba ang company. Kaya basi nastadihan na po niya siya sa una. Alright? So, di na na pwede. Okay? So, guidelines sa company ninyo pili on. Dapat more than 5 years na siya natukod or operating. And then, if possible, kaila lang niyo para convenience ang pagkuha ang data. And then, what else? Um, willing to 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 be studied, kan agad siya. And then, um, if possible, available sila during your presentation sa oral validation. Okay, but if really good sila available sila, kaya na siya. And as much as possible, manufacturing, ha? Um, I do not suggest service kay Lisod siya apply yan Six Sigma. Although, it is applied to all. Okay, but as much as possible para tangible ang results, uh, manufacturing lang. Okay, manufacturing na business. Okay, and then, so, we need to say guys, September 21 onwards until 16, dili na tamag meet ana. Because that will be the time that you are going to make your, your paper. So, September 21 is mag-discuss ko. Monday na siya for the orientation and also basics of Six Sigma. Ang process niya, um, to define, measure, analyze, and all. It's like content support as a chapter. Uh, I mean per chapter. And then I, I will be giving also a sample paper for your guide. So, muna siya ang yung required na himoon for the entire six weeks to nine weeks. Okay, and then in the ninth week, October 12 to 16, October 12 will be the first group na mo valid, um, pa oral validation, and then the other group in the 16 for the oral validation. Alright, so kinsaman ang group sa koan sa groupings for the paper. So, kanisiya. Okay, it's all right. Mm-hmm. That's by two, no? Okay, wait. Ani na lang. Uh... have to transfer here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's a bad guy laptop.
Yeah, I think okay na niya. So this will be group one and group two. All right. So group one is Pedrosa Zabala Silva Laurito Bocota, and then group two is Amazona de la Peña um, Anipa versus Sacasero. Okay. So. Uh, You will have to find the team na namin kaila. So, it may, may it be furniture, may it be um, kanang tighimog mga guitars, uh, tignan, tig production sa eggs, mga na na. Pwede na sila. Alright? To make, uh, to be able to um, uh, to apply lean si Sigma. Questions? Okay, discuss na ta. Question so far? Napa mo diha? Wala lang ma'am. Okay ra. So again ha, this is your groupings for the paper. Half sa midterm. Wala lang ma'am. Okay. And then, kani is for the uh, presentation of your um, research on the following topics. Okay? Para mismo ka mo, makaibawad mo sa ang topic. But I will be there to add more about the topic. Okay, and then let's now go to stop sharing ako. Uh, don't worry, I'll I'll share this later in your chat. Now let's now go to the introduction to lean manufacturing. So uh, all right. So basically, guys, um, lean six sigma is actually um. One is yeah, kind of getting two two different concepts actually, but the the usa siya okay during the old curriculum katung mga two thousand something ano nat ninety ninety pero siya ng curriculum I think ninety ninety three separated yun si lean manufacturing o si six sigma but in the modern times um lean manufacturing is already embedded with six sigma because um there's a connection that was found. Among uh, between the two, so Karon in the first half of the of the semester will be a discussion on the lean manufacturing, okay, and the other half will be the will be the application of Six Sigma. So what is lean manufacturing? Lean means murara siya o in 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 mas dalit siya masabtan in bisaya na terms. Lean is basically kanang walay walay waste. No, walay waste because lean rasiya ang iyahang manufacturing. Just like kana mga virtual companies, those companies are lean actually. Ano man, wala man sila um assets ka ayo. They don't invest in in offices. They don't invest in in mga machines, no? Instead, they invest only on servers and people. So lean kasi yah, gamay rakay siya waste. Alright. So in a more defined meaning, lean manufacturing is basically systematic approach siya because you cannot just automatically identify and eliminate waste. All right, you have to really do a process in choosing which waste are um, found in the company. So mo na nga niyon ko in finding your companies as much as possible. Kuan yun siya kanang um tangible a waste para makita ginato nga na a waste okay so it's a systematic approach to identify and eliminating waste now what are these waste we have what we call the eight types of waste okay later i will discuss and this will also be your outcome for this week and to identify the eight types of waste all right so um waste is also known as non value adding activities so in Japanese, we call this as muda, all right? Muda na siya. So everything actually, the concept of industrial engineering came from the Japanese, okay? Because um, uh, Japanese started those concepts that are very effective in the industry, especially with Toyota. So si Toyota yun ang nagsugod-sugod ang itanan, all right? And Toyota is a Japanese company. 
So the way to improve or identify the non-value adding activities is through continuous improvement or Kaizen, which will be reported by some of your classmates, by flowing the product at the pool of the customer. So when we say at the pool of the customer, by the time na kuhaon na ni customer ang product, or by the time na palito niya ang product, in the pursuit of perfection. So as much as possible, although perfection is not realistic, but the concept of Japanese is that the processes will be perfect, meaning will like non-value adding activities. Okay, next. Now, this is the historical line, this is the timeline for lean manufacturing as a Gichenek start. During the 1850s, see Ellie with L Whitney ang nag start. So, para mas dali daw ang pag create or manufacture sa product, why not i interchange na lang sila? Okay, it's being interchanged. Mean to say, instead of um, throwing all the entire products, ila rang gipang kuha ang mga parts. So, di ba, phones, for example, separated ang battery, separated ang kanina part, no? Para in case na maguba ang battery ra, na change na po ang battery. Same with cars, no? Kanang sa mga sakinan. So, if nine parts na guba, kanara po ang ilislan. Not necessarily the entire car is being replaced. Alright? So, that's one method um, con or concept done by me. So, during the, actually, all concepts started during the wars. No, tanang war nga nita buto na generate ang mga industrial concepts. So, during the American Civil War, dito po na create ang mga drawing conventions, tolerances. So, may allow na for, for errors ang mga companies na willing na gihapon to distribute to, to, tawag to be distributed to customers even though um, uh, bilig siya perfect. Okay? Mo na ang tolerance, no? Ang, ang amount of willingness ni customer to accept um, errors. Then, modern machine tool developments developed by Frederick Taylor. I'm sure you have you have heard about him in quality management systems. Okay, and also in, in methods engineering. So, he's the father of IE, Frederick W. Taylor. And then, he made the standardized work. So, if alongside with the interchangeable parts, if all the works are already standardized, then dili na lisod. Process na lang mausap. Let's say, for example, five products, pero same process one to process four. If process five na lang mausap, which is color. So, inana siya. Let's say, for example, phones, no? May rose gold, na violet, na green, di ba? Sa iPhone 11. And then, mausap na lang sila sa type of casing na yun. So, that's standardized work. Also, time study and work standards. For sure, you are, you are you passed already methods engineering, so you know what time study and work standards are. And then worker management dichotomy. Then during that time also in the in the um, methods engineering or method study, na atay Gilbreth or the third blades. Are you familiar with third blades, de ba? So si third blades kay um. Uh, it's been made by the couple Frank and Lillian Gilbreth. Gibalira nila ang Third Blades, di ba? It's actually their apelido, Gilbreth. So, si Third Blades is for katong mga minute na mga, mga gagmay na mga movements and then can actually be computed already, standardized already through the Third Blades na mga, mga icons. And then, they also had the process charts and in the motion study. Okay? And then, there comes Henry Ford. So, American na ni si Henry Ford during the Great War. Siya na ang nagsugod-sugod ang assembly lines. So, actually, cars are produced, mass-produced because of assembly lines. So, sa unang panahon, one man, one output. Right? But because of the assembly lines and the standardization of work and time study, Henry Ford was able to generate assembly lines wherein from one from one line, he move niya to the next line, mo na po yung mag-ibos na next na process. Until at the end of the line, one product is produced. Mo na yung assembly line. Same with katong nag-activity mo sa methods engineering. Si first pair, sila yung mo sa kanina part sa camera. 
Next na po, shiting install sa lens. Next na po, shiting check sa kanina siya. Until at the end of the line, mahuman ang Osaka camera. That's assembly line. Okay? And the manufacturing strategies and the flow lines. And then, there comes Edwards Deming. So, manaman din mo ang quality management system for sure. No? You will not be enrolled to IET, IETE332 without passing Q, QMS. So, si W. Edwards Deming is the father of quality. Alright? So, he was um, assisted by Joseph M. Juran. So, si Joseph M. Juran actually is iyahan ng Murag sidekick, no? Hindi tawag anak ka ng murag iyang napasahan sa iyang concepts. So, sige, further, sige, further um, research na na major ran ang concepts na gi-provide ni Deming. So, according to Deming, the higher the variation, the, the lesser the quality. So, kung mas sige kausab ang product, let's say, for example, na maligyan ang 14 inches na na TV, gamaya na ba ang 40 inches? 40 lang, 40 inches na TV. Unya, ang imong next production, 39.8 siya. Sunod, 39.5. Sunod, 40.2. So, grabe kayo ang variation. Grabe kayo ang changes. It's a low quality product. Let's have a simpler example. Let's say, Milo sa canteen. No? Milo sa canteen, una, inibantay ni mo, duha kabuk Milo, the same ang imong gipalit. Unya, ang usa ka Milo, taas kayo, hapit ma, ma, mapuno. But the other one is, Murag gamay ra, murag almost to nga. So that's low quality service. Okay? Grabe ang variation. That's according to concept of the name. And because of that, iyang i-compute ang variation, correct? That's why we have the STC tools. The statistical process control charts. Diba? We computed for the variation and the mean or even the the um other means to compute for variation. Diba? We have the highest minus lowest, the range, no? and the variance, and even the standard deviation. And of course, the total quality management. So ensuring that not only the, the leaders will be in charge of the quality, but more so the, sorry, the employees. Okay? Then there comes 19, 19, 1950. By the way, the World War II, kana si Deming, guys, he was um, named by the Japanese as the father of quality when he arrived to Japan. So, he invited na siya sa Japan to do the industrial works. But when he was in America, wala gitaw na siya katla sa mga Americans, no, sa iyang concepts. But the Japanese believe in his concepts. That's why um, he was called the father of quality by the Japanese during the World War II. So, ni hawa na siya from, ni lakaw na siya from America, ni ato na siya Japan. Okay? Okay, next. Um, 1950, si A.G. Toyoda, so, muna ni sila ang mga owner sa Toyota, they started with Taichi Ona. So, Taichi Ona, actually, guys, is the first IE of Toyota. So, siya yung main, main IE. Marshall ka ng major na IE sa Toyota. And he started most of the tools that you're going to discuss in the next weeks. Okay? So, si Taichi Ono. So, he started Toyota Production System. You will know what TPS is later. Um, Just-in-time concept. Stockless production. So, as much as possible, di ka mag-stock o baghan. Because that's actually a waste. No? And then we also have um, world-class manufacturing. That's Toyota. So if you have, if your parents have Toyota cars or you own a Toyota car, you will notice that the Toyota offices are really wonderful, like so IE. So if ever you will, you will have OJT in Toyota. Makanotis din mo daghan yung concept sa IE dito, because it's actually it's actually started from them. Okay? And then, uh, during the 2000s, they rin na nag-start ang lean manufacturing. Right? So now, unsa din na si lean manufacturing? So it's actually coined by James Womack and Daniel Jones and Daniel Russo. So, Daniel, no? 
they call it the machine that changed the world. So actually, they, ang ilang gipasabot na the machine that changed the world is actually the concept of Toyota, the Toyota secret weapon. You all know that way before Toyota was made, ang pinakasikat na mga cars were Volkswagen, correct? Volkswagen and um, Ford, no? But pag-abot ni Toyota, napapas ang duha. Volkswagen even had bankruptcy, di ba? Um, it, once we, we discuss, if I will still be your teacher in supply chain, si Volkswagen na bankrupt na siya, okay? Because wala siya nakakeep up with the technology and the trends in the industry, okay? Bagura na sila ni Balik. No, katong, I'm sure you're familiar with mga Volkswagen na mga cars, di ba? Kanang, so ito na ito, anak, kanang mga pagong, pagong cars. Those are VW cars. And Ford also offers expensive cars. Okay? Expensive po nilang cars because they spend too much in the production. Now, when Toyota was, was introduced, they revolutionized the world industry because they created affordable cars. Even up to now, correct? Ako ay own a Toyota car. And barato yun siya compared to Ford, to Honda, and all other, all other cars. That's because they have kept their non-value-adding activities to a minimum. Okay? They have, um, show, uh, they have found or identified the non-value-adding activities and eliminated all of them. All right? So Walmart introduced the Toyota production system to the American, which created a new phrase, lean manufacturing. I need to say, natangtang na ang tanang mga ways, natangtang na ang tanang mga, um, mga non-value-adding activities or muda. All right. Now, the concept of um, Toyota is how do they increase profit? Sa ubang companies, most of the methods they use is ilang patas ang presyo. Agree? No? For example, na maligya ka og item. Let's just say kaning dragon fruit, no? Maligya ka dragon fruit. Ang imong palit, let's say 100. Maligya ni mo og 150. Na kay profit na 50 pesos. Now, other companies what they do is they just increase the price to increase the profit. Agree? So, instead of selling it to 150, let's say 190 nila para mas dako ang profit. But with Toyota production system or the lean manufacturing is they go back to the reasons why as kaayo ang cost. So, they minimize the cost to maintain the price and increase the profit. Nakagets? Comment na lang. Dili mo mo Comment in the chat box. Nakagets ra? Questions? So, meaning to say, um, you increase profit by minimizing your cost and maximizing your production. Okay? So, that is how you're going to increase profit. Alright? Uy, napamudiha. Kasi ako na yung nagsihistorya diri. Chat daw, yes, chat. Ma pa, na pa? Kasabot ra? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige daw ba? Quiz daw ba? How to increase profit? Okay. Minimize, minimize cost. Minimize cost. Oh, very good. Price. Yes. Maintain lang yeah. ang price. Okay. Nga naman na, ang say reason, Anna, nga kailangan man na to i-maintain ang price. Sige daw, comment or speak out. Ganun kailangan may maintain ang price? Ganun di man pwede nga. Increase na lang din na to ang price, ma'am. Sige daw, comment or shout out. Shout out. <laughs> or tingog. Why do you think? Why do you think that you have to maintain the price and not increase uh, increase it? Di na mamalit ang tao. Very good. That's very practical answer. What else? Come on, for, else? For, 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 like, for profit, ma'am. Charot. Meron <laughs> charot. Um, if, if you change your price from time to time, ang good, 
the people will perceive you as unreliable in terms of your cost and kind of SRP. Napo tayo kita wagong SRP, no? We need to say, you submitted a document to the government na more gini ang price ngayon yung baligya. Pareha ko na ng mga shampoo, di ba, SRP. So, di ka pwede mula pa so too much from the SRP because mama na siya ang gi-mention nga for a uh, amount to the people. So, if ikaw, pag-production ni mo, sobra di ay, nasa yung kagpunta sa yung SRP, nga, alkansi ka, therefore, people will choose a product that is lesser in cost or price than you, di ba? That is why you have to maintain credibility by ensuring that your price is maintained. So, para mas muda ko imong profit, imo na lang i-minimize ang cost. Alright? So, kana siya. That's basic. No, in um, costing, right? And especially in in the concepts of IE. So, natin kita wag ugmuda, guys. Um, actually, seven pa siya kabuo, but I will be um, creating a new a new list, which is mas dali ninyo mahinomduman. Alright? So, before that, uh, Taichi Ono uh, started muda. So, he is the Toyota executive. So, usali siya sa mga dagkups sa Toyota during that time. But he's not one of the owners. So, Toyota gid na siya ang owner. Ana. Managig soon actually. And he was the chief engineer in Toyota that time. And he siya ganahang gid waste. Kaya na-notice niya that the reason why there is too much cost in our product is because we have too much waste. Okay? So, these are the seven types of of waste. So, muda. Muda is the Japanese term for waste. Okay? So, I'll stop share. I'll open the whiteboard. Alright? Okay, I'll, I'll write it down. So, the first, it's actually coded D O W N E I N E. What does it read, guys? Downtime. Down so in short, the wastes that our uh, manufacturing generates can create downtime. Nga man, it's an downtime. Idea about downtime. Comment or shout out. It's an downtime. So good now. Nga may methods, di ba? It's an downtime. Sige lang. Unang walay gibuhat ang worker, ma'am? Walay gibuhat ang worker, correct. What else? Walay gibuhat ang worker, ang sapa? Walay na produce ang machine. Walay na produce ang machine. Ano walay na produce, kay? Stop ang operations, correct? So, mo na siya ang mini, guys. Stop ang operations. Kato yun yung ipang mention, those are the effects. Okay? Tungod kay stop ang machines, uh, walay nabuhat because guba ang machine or walay work. Break time. No? Pero si downtime is natin kita huwag scheduled and unscheduled. Ang scheduled kay gituyo yung siya o out. Nga na gituyo man siya out. Kay, of course, um, Maintenance baron, no? Ayuhon baron, okay? Ang kanang unscheduled kay ni kalit lang kapaw yun because there might be some errors in the machine. Uy, kasabot naman ito na nagbisaya, no? Tagalog ba ni si Versosa? Makasagbot ra ka, Versosa? Can you understand ra bisaya ba? Versosa, are you there? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am, then reply na. <laughs> yes! Yes, Gail. Si Gail, ron ang natin. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay na to siya, ma'am. Two years na to. Kasabot na na siya. Pag first day na na siya. Tagalog. <laughs> okay, sige, sige. So, again, um, if we encounter waste manggod, muna siya gingon na naasya'y um, downtime. Because maguhat man ang tao, there's idle time. Alright? Idol or I-D-L-E. Okay? Meaning to say, walang gibuhat ng tanga rang tao. 
no? So any guess for the first? Kung sa mani ang D na mga weights. Any guests? Comment or shout out? Or chat, the chat or shout out? Any guests? Until 1.30, come on later. No? Apit na masad noon kumahuman. We can stop early here. Uy, ayaw pati. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Nay, bubuyog niya. Iyang gisprayhan. <laughs> oh, any guess what D is? Hello, John! <laughs> Any guess, guys? <laughs> Hello, low flying kay siya nga bubuyog ba? Uy, nalipog na guru ni John. Imo magi spray han good. <laughs> Sige, guys. Any guess? Chat. Kung sa'yo pinaka-first nga waste, pinaka-common yun na siya nga waste. Effects, ma'am. Correct. No? Ano, good. Mo na siya ang pinaka-una, good na waste. Obvious kind of waste. Right? Now, by the way, what's the difference between defective and na-edit na ba na nako? Oh, hindi ko ka-edit na ato. Mula. Okay. What's the difference between defective and defects? Are they def the same or not? Gawas na. Malipong to. Are they the same or not? Sige, ay ka wow. Chat or 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 uh, shout out. <laughs> same or not? Sige daw ba? Not. Okay. Nga nung dili man sila the same, Francis. Or anybody. Dili sila the same, no? Spelling ka lang daan. Defective is ang whole product ang guba, while defects are kung asara na part ang guba. Yes! Very good. Very good, Shem. That's very good. So, we need to say defective, we need to say not functional na gina siya. The entire product is not functional. Okay? Meaning, it has too much defects already. Well, defects is, can still be functional. Can still be functional, but uh, uh, repairable. Ito ba? Ano ba yung word niya, repairable? Maayo ra siya. Okay? And all defective units have defects. Correct? Imposible kayo wala yung defects ang usaka defective unit, di ba? So all defective units have defects. But not all, not all, um, defect, uh, Units with defects are defective. Do you agree? So, pwede man nga, ang kanang chair, buba na siya, lumting na siya, pero malingkuran na gihapon siya. No? So, it's not considered gihapon na defective. Okay? So, other other concept lang na siya. So, yeah, let's proceed. Um, why is it a waste, guys? Why is it considered a waste? Obviously, if defects lang siya, so actually defects or defective unit siya, say, wala usbon. So if defects siya, asa man ang ways? Di ba ipaayo na to siya? No? Let's just say, kanang nagpamanufacture ka o kanang, let's say, kanang nagpaayo ka sa, sino, kanang mga pagpawelding something. Ayan na sobra. So, ang ending, iyan na po nang ihulma o balik. So, waste of time, right? Waste of time sa pag sa paghimo again, no? And then, materials, di ba? Like, ang pintal barod or ang or katong ihang i-use nga material, di ba? Gamit na sa na siya. That's another cost. Right? So, it's actually a defect. Or, if it's an entirely defective unit, obviously, Kung gina siya, considered gina siya as defect. Oh, sorry, waste. Anong waste naman na siya? You cannot sell that anymore. Alright? There's no value in it anymore. So, for example, nasayup ka gluto o cake. Instead of suka, 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 limong gibutang, nasin. 
ni Chokra na siya, pero let's say, grabe na yun, ito masayo. So obviously, di na niyo pwede ibaligya ang cake because the cake is not anymore the quality it should have. So, it will be put to a waste. Aside from what, okay, profit, opportunity loss na siya, naka-waste pagid ka uburas, and of course, your materials and the energy that you use. No? Ang imong kurinti, ang imuhang kayo, ang imuhang, especially, mga ingredients. Okay? So, it's an entirely wasted product. Kuha na to? Gets ra? Chat-chat if gets ra? Para makaproceed na sa next. Okay, yes, yes. Alright. Next, O. Ang sabi na si O. Guess, what is O? O, O, O. O, O, O. Any idea ni O? Guess. Overproduction. Correct. Now, why is it that Overproducing is considered a waste. Any idea? Ano man nga, ano waste man ma'am ang mag-overproduce? Any idea? Kadili ka ka sure ma'am if mahalin ba siya or di? Yes, correct. Which sometimes leads to inventory. Inventory. Yes, correct. No? So, we need to say, mag-overproduce ka, let's just assume that you have already computed na sa imuhang stock, sa imuhang demand, you only sell usually 100 boxes of this one. But, nakatiming mang ka nga, wala na gibuat ang mga tao. Sige, paghimo na lang gihapon mo, guys. Yung produce lang gihapon mo. Yung nagsigig produce, pagkahuman nagsigig produce, kay, wala na day mahalin. So, na siya storage um, space nga gi-alat na akay storage area nga gibutangan niya which is supposed to be unta mabutangan siya og lain nga di ba mabutangan unta siya og lain nga nga product pero tungod kay gi-store nimo ang katong na overproduce na product it's a waste worst if the product is na ashay shelf life agree kanang mapanos ba so Example, mag-overproduce ka og pan or bread. Okay, niya wala na halin. So, it will be put into a waste. Wala siya na halin at the same time, ang materials, ang entire cost gives a product is put into waste. Okay? So, overproducing or overproduction is considered a waste. Alright? As much as possible, compute for the number of, muna ilang diingon niya, Diba, mayroon sila, mas may nang sobra kaysa kuwang. But in manufacturing, dili na pwede. Unless kung naamoy, ga-anticipate nga seasonal time. Alright? Pabito na nga, sa forecasting natay seasonal decomposition also for seasonal types of products because nag products nga ma-over, medyo kag overproduction or even require your people to overtime to be able to meet the demand. But for regular lang, let's say, no, kanang Angel's Burger, Nag, di ba, kabante mo sa Angel's Burger, magluto siya daan, no? Magluto siya daan, niya. Yeah. What if, dili na, walay mo palit na o burger at that time? Masa may mabuhat sa overproduced na burgers? Yan na lang ng kanon kaysa maputo waste. Pero mahulugin na siya nga, wala na na siya profit. Correct? So, mo na siya nga, overproduction is, is really a waste. Questions? Wala ra? Alright, W. Ang sama na si W. Waiting. Yes, waiting. So, ang paghuwat di ay, guys, kay waste din na siya, guys. Pugot, no? <laughs> Pero, yeah, waiting is a waste. Okay. Dil ambot lang in life, no? <laughs> but in production, it's a waste. Alright? In service, it's a waste. Imagine, maghuwat ka sa accounting. Magbayad sa imuang tuition. Karon, mas mayo na ganiron kay online na tanan, no? Ang dugay na pod ang pag-verify. <laughs> but waiting is a waste, guys. Alright? Imagine, let's say you you line up to Ayala. Sama na mga magtupad na fast food shade sa Ayala. McDo o Jollibee, correct? 
Lain ka sa Ayala, Macdo o Jollibee, asking lain sa Jollibee. No? What what ka kadiyot? Ka-10 ka sa line. Unya, after, na-realize ni mo, mas pas pas lagi sa Macdo. Ngayawa ka. Correct? Di ba ka sa Macdo? Is it a waste to the to the company? Yes, because you could have been a serviced unit or a serviced transaction. And nagita kay profit. Not that's like profit na mo ni mo. That's also part of the queuing in in operations research too, right? In the queuing method, um, waiting is a waste. Especially, um, we call that kanaganing mga nanay sa queuing na line na unta ka, pero tungod kay dubay kay kagipahuwa at nibali na lang kasalain. Okay? It's an opportunity loss. Alright? So, waiting is a waste, especially in production. Nga naman, let's just assume that your workers are working 8 to 5 and the requests just arrives, let's say, 12 noon. So, we need to say from 8 to 12, wala yung trabaho imong tao. Correct? Nag-wait ra sila sa imuhang um, sa imuhang request. So, wala sila produce But you are paying already your people from 8 to 12. Do you agree? So, waiting or idle time is a waste. Wala yung buhat. Alright? Kasagaran, um, problems in Anna, no? Like, ma-mention sometimes ni Joey, ang ilang ko ng request from Taiwan, mo-arrive ko na usually 4 p.m. na. And ilang work is 8 to 5. So, ika 4, diha pa sila magkarakara. So, most of the time, they do overtime. So, it's a waste to the company, right? Kaya maka-overtime naman noon ang workers. And they have to pay for the overtime. And sa katong mga morning, wala gibuhat ang mga workers because they are waiting for the for the request. So that's actually um idle time. So mo to nayon ko nga why not change the shift? Diba? Na morning shift and then na evening na shift. Para ang evening na shift ang work out sa mga 4 p.m. na i-request. Then ang mga mahabilin, it will be done by the morning shift with a uh, fewer people. So you can actually do a lot of changes. Once you're immersed in the industry, no, makanotice na mga bito mo, waste ka, ayun na nagbuwan sa 8 to 5 na schedule just because nag-wait na sa 8 to 5 na schedule. So why not change the shift of the workers? Okay, but I don't know if yung implement, mahala ko siya, tinidira ba ko siya? Yan na ang problema. <laughs> Next, what's the end? Ah, eh, skip sa natin si end. Let's go to T. N is actually the latest. Bago na na siya gi-add. Okay, it's the eighth muda. But let's proceed first to the T. So, unsama na si T, guys. Oi, questions, wait, by the way, sa waiting time, wala ra? Wala ra. Um, okay. Next, what is T then? Um, transportation. Very good. Okay. Transportation. So why is it that transportation or transporting time is considered a waste? Nay idea? Idea from the crowd? Why is it that transportation is considered a waste? And now we see, ma'am, the ba if like magpa transport. Na toy. May fee. Ah, pwede, pwede. Um, although. Although, kung gina siya ka ng archipelago, mangunta, no? So, dili siya mapugnan. Kailangan kita mag-transport uh, through cars or through kuan. And it will take time. Traffic. Alright, sige. I think ayun na idea about transportation is more on ka ng delivery time, no? But that's also one, actually. That's also one. But, kana siya, waste yun na siya. Especially if na mga delays sa pag accept like mga sangit pa siya sa um, oh, yeah. na customs, no? Yeah. Masangit siya sa customs and all. But sa ato, uh, di na, to, na siya mapunggan because that's part of mga uncontrollable na, to, na mga variables, right? Ngano uncontrollable? Wala naman tayong hold sa government, wala tayong hold sa transportation. If ever 
weather will not cooperate, dinigid malarga ang atuang item, correct? So uncontrollable na siya. Now, ang kaning gipasabot ni Muda diri is more on kana gani for instance, let's say, example lang gihapon si Angel's Burger, no? Para mas dali masabtan, no? Ay nakakao na ba mog Angel's Burger? Basi wala mo idea kung it's ana ni Angel's Burger. So, si Angel's Burger, ako na notice ni Angel's Burger. Let's just say Ang iyang mga pan, mga bun, bun man ano, kanyang mga pan na, na kuan. Ang iyang mga bun, ibutan niya sa likod, correct? Or sa babaw, for example, no? Babaw ba na or sa likod? Kung asan niya gistore ang mga buns. Now, inig production niya, inig luto niya, what to pa siya sa likod, correct? To get the buns. So, na na siya ay pilakabok steps nga gi-acquire just to get the product. Yan, kuha na po siya sa ref para sa burger patty. No? So, dagan kay transportation. Kabantay mo? Dagan kay siya movements. Dagan kay siya balihin-balihin. Okay? So, transportation is uh, moving from one station to another in order to prepare or do the manufacturing or production. Alright? Mana siya si transportation. Now, how are you going to prevent that is by ensuring that before you do the production, all ingredients are placed in one area. Or as much as possible, within your reach lang para dili na ganit ka mo take one step. Nakasabot. Kabatay mo sa ito ang burger sa canteen. Diba? Strategic kaayo. Oh, no? Strategic kaayo ang burger sa canteen. All niya ingredients na sa ilalum. So, duko ra siya gamay, no? Duko ra siya gamay and then get ang product then produce di ba so kabon siya asa ang positioning no right, left and right hand motion na lang ang iyang ginabuhat wala na siya nag um kawani wala na siya nag transport pa to another place para lang makuha ang iyang product okay so in in large companies as much as possible the layout should be strategically placed okay dili pwede nga kanang lagyo kayo ang process 1 to process 2. Okay? Naapod ko yung mga students that ang ilang gi-study sa Six Sigma is mga glass doors. Now, sa glass doors, kay ang process 1 nasa second floor. Nya, ang, sec ang process 2 nasa first floor. Kunya, muagi pa dyan o hagdanan ang glass. So, daghan kayo o possible nga uh, ways na mahitabo. First, of course, ang transportation time from the first floor to second floor no and then possibly pagid niya mabuak siya or na ay scratch siya all right so those are the things or concepts that affect that is affected by transportation usually affected ana is layout kanang dagtag as di kayo ang movements but naa lang gitay mga companies no ad lisod gid kaayo i i kanang really out because fixed ang iyang layout. So, nganong fix man? Let's say, kanang mga cold storage. So, ang imong, pas, imong buhaton, ana, ang katong mga machines na lang, ang imong ipaduol sa cold storage. Naapod tayo mga machines nga dili pwede i-duol sa cold storage kay base niya mabuto or something. No? Dapat palayo din sila. So, ligang take considerations. So, that is why as much as possible, create or lessen the transportation time through using material handling equipment. Now, unsa man ang mga material handling equipment? Mga forklift, no? Mga pushcart, okay? Kaysa imong workers magbitbit ta ng products, hinay kaayo, i-pushcart na lang mausa ta ng products in one in one cart. Nakasabot ra so far? Yes, questions. Nakasabot ra so na si transportation, guys. Okay, kanang movement from one station to another during the processing or production. Okay. How about I? What is I? Ang saman si I sa downtime. Inventory. Very good. Very good, Martha. So, inventory. Now, together with um, together with O, the overproduction, Inventory is considered a waste, especially if delete na siya mahalin. No? And 
ang ma-ending is you just throw it out or diligid na nimo siya mabaligya na. Just like um, when I was still working in Metro Gaisano, there was a part there na nagid sila'y um, warehouse area na dito nila ilabay ang mga tanang guba and tanang mga slow moving items. So sa mga mga slow moving items kanang mga kanang dili kaayo halimun ba? Slow moving na sila. Slow ang inventory turnover. So ang may tabo since wala kayo yung order nila from the stores, they stock it up at the at the bot dito sa tumoy sa ilahang warehouse. And dito sa tumoy kay um spaces pa ba yaunta na sila? for the other products. Pero tungod kay we have stored them in a certain area in our warehouse, it already takes up um, a warehouse space. And each warehouse space are actually um, ginabayran. Okay? In warehousing, guys, kanang ilang mga pallets, kanang mga wood na butanganan sa mga boxes, sa mga products, pinabangan na siya wala na gipalit sa uban. So, if ever giabangan na nila, 100 per pallet na. And you're actually spending for 100 per pallet per day na siya ha, per day just because of items na dilit na day mahalin. So, it's really a waste. Correct? Mauna akong na-notice. That's why akong gibuhat as an IE ato na time, akong gipanglabay. <laughs> Nanangin ko sa sa owner, sa client ko, uh, Metro, this is, these are the number of box, uh, pallets used for this, for this waste alone. So, we have 20 pallets used for the waste or products that are still for repair and for return to supplier. So, nanghid ko nga, i-deliver na ko balik to supplier, na-request ko o car or kanang delivery truck na mag-deliver kaysa sa magbayad ni sa entire 100 per day per pallet. ba? So, muna in yung role as IEs, guys. You have to make sure that we minimize the waste in the in the company, for the company. So, mananghid yun ka dapat sa imong client. Bili ka pwede pataka laglabay, no? Kaya sila may owner. <laughs> so, nanghid ko ato, ilabay na lang ni eh, kay wala na ka ng defective na. Or, Ang gibuhat mo na ko ato during the time ni Avon kay akong gipa sale. Kaya nang request ko nga, why not ipa pena ganing clearance sale na lang siya dan ang makapalit kay mga workers lang in a low price, 50%. Isagot naman po doon ng company kaysa zero good. ba? So that is why um, um, I was able to clear out some of the inventory. So ana na siya. Alright, so those are your roles, role as IEs. Making sure that the inventory is kept at a minimum. Then, daghan ka ayong concepts ang inventory, no? Um, are you enrolled already in supply chain? Not yet, no? I think second sem ba? Or, or second cluster? Wala pa mo? Wala pa mo operations with supply chain management? Anyways, we will discuss more of that during the inventory time. But again, inventory is a waste, especially if they na sila mahalin and they take up warehouse space, giving us warehouse costs. Question so far? Lara? Abdan ra? Okay. Last but not the Lee. Oh, not the A. M of E. Next, M. What is M, guys? Motion, ma'am. Motion. Or a necessary motion. Okay? Dili po pwede nga si motion lang, no? Ang unnecessary gin yung motion. Now, why is it considered a waste, guys? Now, unsa man yung mga unnecessary motions? Let's observe another, uh, let's observe again, um, canteen, burger maker sa canteen. Unsa yung mga unnecessary motions ni, ni ate? Mukuha siya sa cellphone, tanaw siya, tanaw sa text, correct? What else? Um, magkitabi of student or magkitabi of co-tendera. Correct? Those are actually unnecessary motions. Dili siya part sa production. Dili siya part sa bayan. But they are doing it. So it becomes a waste because let's just say 
sa imong pagtabi, mas ayub na noon ka sa imuhang pagkuan, no? pagbuhat. So, mabot ako na-observe when I had my OJT in Timex. Um, repetitive rail motion, magtaod sa strap, sa watch head, no? para sa rilo. Ana. Then from time to time, naichika si other other tupad niya, mo ingon na, ikabaw ko na, buntis ba ang kuan? May nana, no? na buntis ba ang kuan na kanana? Unya, ang katong nagsigig taod sa watch head, puhunong mag na, hala di ay, di ba? So, nihunong siya, oh, hala di ay, hala man lang, hala nabuntis man, hala na. So, wala na nakakontinue sa iyahang normal nga rate sa pagtrabaho. That's a necessary motion. And the people or the buyers actually pays for that because gibayaran ko na to ang production time sa sa usakataw from 8 to 5. No? Another unnecessary motion, although necessary din siya, pero masihig balik, balik sa CR. No? Kanang unnecessary na kaayo. There was one time when I had my OJT in Timex also. I was, um, I don't know, not in Timex dito, sa Avon to siya. When I was assigned in Avon, um, isaw ko sa mong manager kay, na-notice niya nga, sige, ug hawa sa workstation ang mga workers. So, she she gave me the authority to study them uh, and their production. So, ang gibot is I created a checklist by the number of times na nag-check sheet ko, nag-check sheet ko, on the number of times they go to the CR. So, from time to time, na-notice na ko, from 9 man ata to, to 10, na ito ka both workers or one worker ba ito nga, masigit siya CR. I think every 15 minutes mag-CR siya. So, nag-sigit ko, chuk! Ibo ka sa check sheet. And then, pag next day, I'm still doing the check sheet kay I have to give report man na money ang number of times on this time period niya. Kasi siya siya balik-balik sa CR. So, ang gibuhat, gisundan ako siya. <laughs> Murang kagmahimong investigador lagi sa maayi ka, no? So, gisundan ako siya. Gyatan ako siya. Kung asa siya na si Erba Jun Charwan. Pag tanaw na ako, nadi siya sa locker, guys. Nag-open sa iyahang cellphone. Like, away ko ito sa uyang kasi balik-balik sa locker. Sige, thanks, no? So, dito na nako, na gireport na ko siya to the manager, ng mga niyang gibuhat. Well, I mean, may muna siya na ako. Ako may team leader at the time, ng CR break to siya, pero actually, wala siya na CR. Ito siya sa cubicle. Nag-open siya siya cellphone. Because they are not allowed to wear, uh, to bring their cell phones in the, in the office. To also, kanang limit them unnecessary motions. So, ang allowed ra ito mag-cellphone kay kami sa management kay kailangan nang ditawagan for problems and all. Pero sila, di sila pwede. Di sila allowed. Tawago na sila through yun, ang speaker phone. No, nga. Um, kuan, uh, please go to the office na ako yung kuan. Na, na, na. So, that's unnecessary motion. That's one way also to limit unnecessary motion. Do not allow them to bring cell phones in the office or during the production time. Okay? Next, E. Sama niya si E. Ito na tayo man. Any idea ni E? Ideas? E, 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 wala? Wala? Alright, E guys is excess production. Ah, sorry, excess processing. Or pwede po si O for over processing and then E, C, excess production. Pwede rin na siya. Pwede rin na siya mag-interchange. Okay? Now, what do we mean by excess processing guys? Sobraan yung process. Why is it considered a waste? Uy, by the way, wala na yung question sa unnecessary motions? Wala rin, ma'am. Okay, sige. Pwede po, pwede po guys, si unnecessary motion, kaya ka na ganing, um, magkuha siya o material, no, magkuha siya material from, from this area niya. Sayok dito, yung material niya na punit, unnecessary motion na puna siya. Kay, supposed to be on top, nai labels ang iyang materials para kanang inigka sana 
inigkakuha niya, correct na yung may use na materials. Diba? That's also a necessary motion. So, one way to limit that is kanang, you have to put labels on your kuan, on your mga materials. Okay? Sige. Nga nung considered man si excess processing as a waste. Nga man. Cause, tagahan tamo example, no? This one is a study of Jamaica Laios. I don't, uh, wala na mo kaabot ni Jamaica Laios. So, Jamaica Laios is actually um, batch ni Ma'am Erlin Rago. So, she graduated mga 2015, mana siguro sila, 2014. Ay, kami mag 2014. 2017 din na sila. So, 2017. And then, she was, um, uh, she had a study in, in, Oh, she had a study in Timex. So, same Ogi OJT Han. So, I was invited in Timex during the time that she presented her paper. So, she was actually one of the best papers um, sa Timex at na time nag award dan. Uh, and science just IE department. Now, usa iyang study, gigamit rin niya ang lean manufacturing. No? Gigamit rin niya ang define, measure, analyze, improve, and control phase. And ang iyang na found out na waste is actually excess processing. Okay, nga nung mo siyang excess processing. No, yun ano yung process? From is that my good, you will not be given um, a topic. Ikay mangita kung sulbaron. So, mo na nangita buo na mo sa una. Kaya kayo mangita ang sulbaron. So, sige rin ito observe, no? So, ang nangita buo is um, ang kanina box before siya butangan og kanang strap, okay? Before siya butangan og strap, store siya sa siya sa warehouse. So, gikan sa watch head processing, gikan sa watch head processing, mo add to siya sa warehouse, dili siya i direct to the strap head attaching, no, or assembly. Instead, i-add to siya sa warehouse. Yeah, dito sa warehouse, kay store sa ang watch head o plastic. Kaya na yung nakabubble wrap. I'm sure, sige mo shopping, no? Yung nakabubble wrap, no? Ang kanang bubble wrap, kay naka-design sa siya nga masodra po daw sa ka-watch head. Okay? And then, ang box nga butanganan sa watch head, watch head ha, is ka ng ulo sa rilo ba? Okay? So, ibutang siya og box and then ang nasa box, ibutangan pa siya og plastic. So, si watch head processing, naa pa siya process nga ibutang pa siya di plastic. Gets that? So, ibutang o plastic. So, time na siya, di ba? Ibutang plastic. Now, inig-store ana, inig-add na ana sa assembly for strapping, okay, pagbutang sa straps, tang-tango na po ni strap strapper strapper ang ang watch head ah sorry oh tangtang niya ang plastic sa watch head kaya eh, para ma-attach yan oh, strap now what happens to the plastic ilabay ba? ilabay na and then ang katong strap dili na ito siya ibutang ang plastic eh, ibutang naman siya sa iyang packaging no? No, asa dapat ang excess process ato? Ang pagbutang sa plastic. It will take time. Kaya dapat careful good ka ayo ang pagbutang sa plastic. No? Kaya pagkawin kaya tangtangon ra and then ilabay ra pa jud. So it's really a waste. Kaya katong plastic na yung gigamitan, di naman ito nila gamitin. Kaya basi niya na ang nakanutoy, abog. Okay? Ang pinakakuntra sa relo guys is abog. Because masudlan na ganin nag-abog, di na naamuga na. Okay? That is why, Mo dito, niingon si Laios. What I did, ma'am, is ni sa ko sa reason nga nung butangan man din plastic. And then she found out that the reason for putting plastics is para dili siya mo, mo, mo ka nang ma-scratch, inig-move sa box. Kaya naka-subdivided man ang box into kuan para butangan sa, sa watch head. Kung niya inig-move, through the warehouse, through the forklift, through the pushcart, mag-move-move ba ya? So, ma-scratch daw ang, ang watch head. So, gitry niya, uh, gitry niya yung best na as much as possible, di siya ma-scratch. Motong na yung plastic. 
Yeah, ang cost sa plastic is I think 50 centavos. So they are actually throwing 50 centavos per per watch head. Now, ang yan gi-suggest is since ang movement ra man di ay ang gi, gi prevent na mas scratch siya because of the movement. She created a box na dili mo move ang watch head. Diba? Amazing ka. Ayaw mo na ihang proposal. So, gahi mo siya o foam, styrofoam type of box na any size ni watch head, dili siya mo move. Okay? So, inigbutang na sa watch head, dili na kailangan ng plastic. Ang lang ang watch Bisan pag unsa ang movement, so iyan pong gintas ang movement, dili gid ma scratch because ang naka-styrofoam na siya na type. And as ang nakanindot pa yun is ang katuin gi-create na box na gibutangan is makuha rin niya ang materials sa company because daghan o excess materials sa styrofoam and all. No? So, walay, walay processing na mahitabo na. Wala na yung excess processing. So, she was able to save time sa processing katong pagbutang lang, pag-insert lang sa watch head. And at the same time, nakasave pag siya sa plastic. So, wala na yung di na mo palit o plastic si si Timex. Instead, i-produce na lang to nila ang boxes. So, mo to, akong gayon nila, ang next thing mo na target, Anna, dear, is how are you going to to compete for the number of boxes that you need to produce? Kay, kailangan ba ya nga, from time to time, tayo masudlan ang watch yan. So, imagine a very simple observation, wala na na-observe sa mga taga-Timex. But you, as newbies, mga bago mo dito sa sa company, you will be really observant and sila magod na anad ang sila silang processes so para nila okay na na siya. So that's the beauty of having new eyes in the company. So that's excess processing. Okay? Now, last but not eye questions. Nakasabot ra? So it becomes a waste magod guys because pwede naman ang taong wala na siya pero nga nung gibuhat na siya. Excess gina siya nga processing. No? Mura na good na siya kena, for example, mag-transfer ko o, o score from kena, from one page to another. Yeah, magsigug altab. One altab is already a second. Di ba? I na-realize na ko nga, ano mo, man ako gi left and right face na lang. Di para mag-copy na lang ko, mag-type na lang ko. So, di na ako mag-copy paste, altab. Control V, di ba? Dagan ka ayaw movements. Those are aside from unnecessary motion, excess processing din na siya because naon tayo mas dali. Okay? Question so far? Questions? Are you still there? Wala na ma'am. Kasi wala na ko'y kasabot ha. Ay, wala na ko'y kasturiya diri ha. Kasabot ra? Yes. Yes ma'am. Okay. Alright. Last but not the least. Any guess? N. Unsa kay waste nga wala na to na cover up. Nan. Okay. So the next, the last but not the least is actually the non Sorry. Ila kay mali unto na ta. Non utilization of skills. Okay? Non-utilization of skills. So, bago rin niya siya actually gi-appeal sa mga Japanese, okay, that if a worker is non-utilized in terms of skills, it's actually a waste now. Let's just say, for example, you're looking for someone na ma-hire uh, to be your team leader. Kung niya nag-hire pag ka from the outside, wala na lang give me mo gi Utilize yung mga old workers, they have nga dugay na, kibaw na sa process, they know the pasikot-sikot, and they can do the improvement and lead the team. So if you will not utilize the skills of your workers, you're actually wasting effort and, of course, cost. Kay hiring someone adds additional cost. Mag-training pagod ka anak, no? Training cost pa ka anak sa bago. As instead of utilizing whatever is available diha sa imuhang um, company. So, non-utilization of skills is a waste. Another one is, if naunta kay prospected na leaders, pero wala ni mo sila gi pa seminar or gitagaan o um, 
new trainings for them to improve. That is why um, when I was immersed in Chini, uh, sorry, Mitsumi, all of their engineers have uh, have kind of trainings, no? Every murag, at least once a month or twice a month, nagit sila training silang engineers because they want to hone their engineers from time to time. So I was able to discuss to them inventory and kasagaran po nga ako na discuss and we're nasa purchasing, nasa inventory na part ng mga engineers. So as a review for their skills. So that's actually not um, a waste. Okay, if you're not able to utilize the skills of your workers. Okay, question so far? Wala? All right. So that's the end of the introduction to lean manufacturing. So basically, again ha, what's the difference ni lean guys and ni Six Sigma? Si lean mga good guys is eliminating non-value adding activities. So kaniyang tanang waste mga non-value adding ni siya. Wala ni siya gibayran sa customer. All right. Kanang magpagtabi ni mo, pagtransport ni mo, pag over storage ni mo wala na gibayra ni company, oh sorry, ni customer. Pero imo nang gi-appeal sa ihang cost. Alright? And it does not add value to the product that you're looking for. Okay? That's why they're called non-value adding activities. Okay? So, si lean manufacturing, iyang gi-eliminate mga non-value adding activities. Mga waste. Alright? That is why in the next tools that we're going to discuss, all of the waste are being um all of these tools help us eliminate these eight ways. Okay? Now, Six Sigma, on the other hand, is minimizing deviation or variance. So, in short, ipagamian na to ang, ang kala, so na, kalain-lain sa product. Kato akong example ganyan ng 40 inches, 39.8, 38.5. Iyan ang giminimize ang variation. Giminimize niya ang kalain-lain sa product in order to keep it into a into perfection now pag combine ani nilang duha lean six sigma mean to say we eliminate the variation of a product through the use of the tools in lean manufacturing so na combine na silang duha all right now my task for you this week since we will not meet on on um Friday, because I have a training, and also on Wednesday. So you have the entire week to to uh, to make this one. Do this by pair, okay? Um, katong pair ninyo sa sa report. So your output will also be by pair. So create a PowerPoint of the things that you have noticed in your homes that actually are waste. No, sa yung balay lang, di lang sa sa ta sa company o kamente company. So let's just say, for instance, sa balay ni Barbie, no? Dagag B, mga defective units. Lang guba na electric fan ba ron? Yeah, wala gilabay, gihapon, pareha sa muna. Pag gihapon na mong TV, wag yung gilabay, wag yung gilabay, junk shop. So those, those examples. And then, for example, unnecessary motion, like mag, magtuon ka niya, yeah, magsikag Facebook. So those, those things. Alright? So for now, look into sa inyo ha mga balay lang. So, determine one defect at uh, one sana, one observation per defect. So, one for D, one for overproduction, one for W, one for N, one for T, one for I, one for M, one for E. Nakagets, ra? And put that in PowerPoint. If possible, provide photos. Okay? Mix ang balay, ma'am. Okay na no? Like pair, yes, pwede ra mix ang balay. Same ra mong duha. So, okay. by pair ni siya. Oh, okay, na may uban na walay laptop. So, at least one of you can do it for the other. So, sabot lang mo kung kung saan yung ibotang for the D, for the O, for the W, for the N, for the T, I, and M. Due for that is Sunday, gihapon. 11.59pm. Alright? So, pohon, when you are um, going to study your company, Kailangan mag-observe mang good mo ani ng mga ways because mo man ang inyong hang sulbaron sa Lean Six Sigma concept. Alright? So for now, start in your homes o sa mga eight ways na inyong na-observe. Aside from that, um, wala lang format ha, kamunay lang bahala. So long as 
you have your names there in the PowerPoint and then about pictures and then the reason why they are so any ang content ha first photo sa different sa type of of waste followed by um the re the category as an asha the overproduction man asha waiting time and then third is why is it considered that waste in that category okay so provide a simple description and considered shall waste questions so all of you should should upload that via Moodle but if ever dili pa okay ang Moodle email to me lang gihapon but for sure ma okay na na ang Moodle I can add you up now kay gamay raman sad mo so basi mauna rata mo so everything should be uploaded to Moodle for the first two teams that will report on Monday um, we have Pedrosa and is it all? Pedrosa and Barbie's Amazon. team and Amazona and Barbie oh. and kisa get Paris ni Barbie si Emmy Emmy so you will have to upload your powerpoints already by Sunday as well all right um no question yes question Nami sa re reports ma'am ba kay Nami kanang libro na basihan ah, wala ah, kami uh, na no magita books. Kamulay pangita, but I will be giving you mga e-books if na ako'y makitaan. I think Sir Allen shared shared to me an e-book for that. But as much as possible, find lamo mo mga reliable sources. Uh, Daga na kayo yung PowerPoint po sa fun actually, sa, sa, na, sa internet. So i-combine lang ninyo ang mga important parts and create your own PowerPoint. Hindi pwede ha na kapihura niyo niyo tanan sa PowerPoint like sa ang nasa PowerPoint sa internet, more po din gamitin. You create your own. Okay? And you put the necessary and, um, concepts needed with regards to the um, uh, concept. Okay? Limit lang po mo sa inyong PowerPoint. Do not make it too long. Like, for example, 50 pages na siya. Ayaw lang po, no? Maybe mga 10 pages so long as ang concept na ana. Because the video will already help us naman daan on um, um, discussing the concept. Okay, one hour, one hour, baya mo. Okay? Any questions so far? So for, um, for those that are on data only, I suggest, guys, pwede na siguro nga, um, you will be around lang during the, oh, gani? During the report ninyo. Pwede na nga, ang um, recording na lang yung tanawon. Okay, basin nyo niya, mas bugat if via Zoom, ganit mo. Saka ito nakadata. So, pwede ra nga, um, ang recording na lang ako ihatag, so long as nilipod ka mo ang report ana na time. But if ka mo ang report ana na time, you have to be around. Ana lang, okay? Ito, total your quiz will be available Saturday pa mansan. So, you will have to have time to review. But for those on Wi-Fi, you are required. Good ka naka Wi-Fi ra mansan. Wala na may problema sa ito. Okay ra? For the katong naka-Wi-Fi. I think duha ra ang naka-Wi-Fi si si Emmy and si Koan. Si Francis. Okay? So, pwede ra mo nga um, mutanaw na lang mo sa recording for the report. If dili ka mo ang report, ano na tayo. Alright? So, sige lang. First half, forgive me, after four weeks, five weeks, the rest of the week, six week, uh, week six to week nine, you have to do it on your own now for the project save pod mo sa data and also maximize your time for other subjects as well. Alright? Wala na questions? Wala ra, ma'am. Sige, mag-picture mag tabi for proof lang. Open your camera. Matats ko ninyo da. Ako'y ako nag-open, firme da. Sige, open, open. Si Versosa kay wala na. Oo, oo, oo. Sige lang, dibeta mo matimahuan diri. <laughs> Sige, open your cameras. Da bagong tukpi o. Oh. Uy, asa na mo uban? Camera. Da, ganahan kay ko sa mga padahon-dahon ni Kay diha o. Oh. Perfect. Darla. Asa man si Barbie? 
Maghihapon, no? Alright, sige, picture ta. One, two, three. One, two, three, smile. Si Darla, di makita. Darla, ang imong ana. Sige, one, two, three, smile. Green screen ba to? Ay, wait, padung sud si Emmy. Balik, 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 balik. <laughs> Emmy, show your camera. Si Barbie, wala no. Nag-drive pa gito, no. Ah, recording na lang na si Barbie, uy. Isa may pair ni Barbie. Ikaw na lang discuss ni Barbie. Kumabal. <laughs> Emmy, <laughs> ah, si Emmy, pa juda. <laughs> Open your camera lang ka. <laughs> there, sige. Oh, isa naman po tinawa. Si Faith. Alright, sige. One, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you very much for joining this morning's orientation. See you again next Monday. Alright, and please do not forget to um, upload your outputs on the eight types of waste uh, via Moodle on Sunday. Alright? See you next week for our first two topics. Bless. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye. Save na your data. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.